Hey guys, Dave from Cook and Chair here. Today we're making up one of our favorite snacks, tuna melts. These are tuna with delicious goodness. Now you might be wondering what a tuna melt is. Well, you're just going to have to watch and see. So let's get started. What I've got here is 184 grams of drained tuna, and you can use whatever tuna you want. Tuna in water, vegetable oil, it's entirely up to you. Then I'm going to add in, oh, about a tablespoon of finely chopped spring onions. Another tablespoon of chopped celery. Half a teaspoon of freshly chopped parsley, and if you don't have fresh parsley, the dried stuff works just fine. After that, a dusting of granulated garlic, and I'd say this is equivalent to, oh, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. Two tablespoons of mayo. Now, you can adjust this accordingly. If you want it really creamy, add a little more. If you want it less creamy, of course, add a little less. All right, now we're going to season this with some salt, some freshly ground black pepper. Now I'm just going to grab my spatula and mix until everything is nicely combined. This is my favorite recipe for tuna salad, but if you have your own version, don't be afraid to go ahead and do it. I'm using brown bread here, but you can use your favorite kind of bread. So go ahead and spoon your tuna salad over the bread, and I should add that 184 grams of tuna works just perfectly for two tuna melts. Then we're going to grate, oh, about a quarter of a cup of cheddar cheese over each melt. Actually, you can add just about any kind of cheese to this, so you be the boss and go ahead and add your favorite cheese. I have to say guys, these really look delicious. I could eat them right now. But I'm not gonna because I'm gonna slip them into a preheated oven set to broil for five minutes. While I'm cooking, I like to have the recipe right in front of me on my iPad and a company called Otterbox has sent me some stuff that makes life a whole lot easier. So what we have here is the agility shell and this is the foundation to the whole system and believe me, it really protects your iPad. The docking station, which is a great mount for just about anywhere. The Agility Power Dock, where you can charge up to three devices. So I just put the dock in the charging station, and your iPad just falls into place with some super cool magnetic fasteners. They sent me a lot more super cool stuff, but I'm going to do a full review on our blog, so I'll put a link below. After five minutes, the cheese is nicely melted, so I'm just going to sprinkle some parsley flakes over the top, and you're ready to serve. And there you have it, our simple, easy, and incredibly delicious tuna melts. Believe me guys, because you can do these up so fast, they make a great midweek meal, you gotta try these. Head on over to cookandshare.com for this recipe and many more simple recipes. Don't forget to click to subscribe and like our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.